Hi guys, my name is Tito. I have sickle cell anemia and I'm here to talk to you today about what is a sickle cell crisis and how can it be prevented? A sickle cell crisis is probably one of the most common or most well-known symptoms of sickle cell anemia. Um, and I explained it in a previous video a little bit, so make sure you go back and watch that. Um, but it's basically where the, bloods, the blood in my body, because of the shape, the crescent shape that was discussed earlier, um, they get stuck together and that can cause a great deal of pain. Due to like the lack of blood flowing, um, the lack of oxygen and nutrients getting to different areas of my body, um, the pain that is caused by a sickle cell crisis is unimaginable. Um, I know a lot of people say like a toothache is like one of the worst pains that they can get. I've had a toothache before and it doesn't compare. I'm telling you this now. Um, I know a lot of people say that it feels like being like poked by pins at the same, like thousands of pins at the same time, or people saying it's like your bones breaking. Like I honestly, I can't explain it. I had a friend who told me that it felt like getting shot, someone who actually has been shot. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. And again, like I said earlier, sickle cell is basically a condition of the blood. So anywhere the blood flows, a complication can arise. Anywhere the blood flows, a crisis can occur. And a way that we prevent this is basically, again, because it's due to like blood flow, you kind of have to think of anything that helps promote healthy blood flow, it helps with sickle cell. So staying hydrated, that is very important. The more water or the more, hydra the more hydrated your body is, the easier your blood is able to flow through your blood vessels. Um, the less thick, the less sticky that your blood becomes. Um, so make sure you drink your water. If you're watching this and you have sickle cell, please go and drink your water. Um, as for me, I try to drink around like three to four liters of water a day on day like today, which is unusually hot. Please up it as well because you get dehydrated faster. Another way that I try to minimize the number of crises I have is by making sure that I'm warm. When you're warm, your blood vessels dilate, they get bigger. So there's more space for your blood cells to flow freely through your body. Um, however, when you're cold, your blood vessels constrict. They, make, they get tighter and it's harder for your blood cells to flow. And it makes it more likely for them to hit the walls of the blood vessels, to hit each other. And in someone like me that has sickle cell, it increases the chance of a crisis, which we do not want. Um, so make sure that you just stay as warm as possible. Today on a day where it's 27 degrees in September, when, when do we ever get that? I still have a jacket in my bag because if the weather does switch up, I need to make sure that I still have what I need to be as warm as possible. So I definitely recommend, please, please, please stay as warm as you can. So another trigger of sickle cell, which I try so hard to avoid is stress. I didn't know that stress was a trigger until when I was in my third year of uni. I had a dissertation due. I had seven pieces of coursework. I have seven exams to revise for and I was in and out of hospital and I had no idea why until one nurse came to me and she was like, oh, maybe it's stress. I was like, I had no idea stress could be a trigger because I find that like throughout my whole like academic life, I've always found that in the, the toughest seasons, I'm always ill. Um, so she said that stress can induce the same kind of effect on your body where it just makes it harder for your blood to flow and it increases the chance of a crisis. So I'm telling you to avoid stress. If that work is stressing you, please, please find a way to manage it. So I've been using the word trigger throughout this video and I don't think I've explained it. So a trigger is basically what we refer to anything that can cause a sickle cell crisis. Um, so when it comes to, like I said before, dehydration or um, weather or stress, these are all triggers. Um, some people are more susceptible to other triggers than others, um, but it's just, it's down to the individual. And as someone with sickle cell, you need to know what your triggers are and you need to be able to make um, preparations accordingly. Um, like I said, I have my jacket in my bag. If it gets cold, I can put that on because I know drastic weather change that could have me in the hospital as in instantly. So yeah, another trigger of sickle cell is overexertion. If you do too much, that's, that's a recipe for disaster. As someone with sickle cell, we don't have as much energy in our body. So to use up all the oxygen that we already have, again, it's a recipe for disaster. So please, please, please take it easy. When it comes to doing sports or going to the gym, I'm not saying don't do it, but I'm saying wean yourself into it. So for example, I do go to the gym, but when I go, I know that I'm not trying to match all my friends who don't have sickle cell. I'm just trying to do what my body needs. Um, it's important to stretch just to kind of get your body warmed up before you go into your exercise. Um, but yeah, guys, please, when it comes to your body, you know yourself. So just take it easy and yeah, just chill out.
really and truly. Anything to kind of promote healthy blood flow in your body, it will help you with preventing a sickle cell crisis. So diet, hydration, energy, sleep well, like avoid stress, all these things that can just help you be a healthier human being, it helps in terms of managing the level or the number of crises that you experience. But yeah, guys, please look after yourself. If you have sickle cell and you're watching this, please look after yourself. I remember like when I'm younger, my mum will be like, oh, Tissel, have you drink? Have you had enough water to drink today? Or go and drink water. Like, it'll be a constant reminder of things that I have to do just to make sure I'm as healthy as possible. So guys, this is me from my mum to me, from me to you. Guys, go and drink your water. Please don't do too much. Just relax, just, you know, enjoy life. Um, but yeah.